emotional. I, I apologize for taking so long. Well, we got an apology out of him. It just wasn't an apology for what he did in Waukesha. How's it going, everyone? This is Christian Duke. You're watching Sight Sound Slivers on YouTube, SightSoundSlivers.com. If at any point in time you like this video, please smash that like button. Please subscribe, guys. That really helps the channel. Ring the bell for notifications and leave a comment down below. So he apologized for being emotional. And, you know, this is the beginning of his sentencing uh, comments. He's looking up at the ceiling as he does, breathing as he does. And, and making it seem like it's hard to, for him to get that air in. You know, he's been through so much. In another video over at the Everything Else channel, I believe it was, he said, you have no idea how many tears I've dropped over this. You know what I mean? Just, just, just theatrics 101. And, and what's the statement after that? You guys know what it is. It's not, I'm sorry to the families. It's not, I can't believe I did what I did. I hope that, you, you know, it's nothing like that. It's like, I am a, uh, what does he say? I believe in Jesus Christ. And he goes off and talks about that. And then he talks a little bit about his family. And then he talks about the victims. And then he talks about the trial. And then he comes back to him because it always comes back to Jarrell. It's all about Jarrell Brooks Jr. In another clip, of course, you know, we've all seen where he tells the judge earlier in the trial that she should recuse herself because she's doing wrong by we the people. Now, we're all we the people, but not to Jarrell Brooks Jr. To Jarrell Brooks Jr., Jarrell Brooks Jr. is we the people, period. Not comma, not semicolon, not hyphen. There's nothing after that. It's periods. And... And so because the judge wasn't doing right by him with his objections or, you know, him trying to submit stuff like the two pictures, you know, that she was doing wrong by with the people and therefore should recuse herself. But to me, this sort of like intro about it getting so emotional uh, would have been a great intro for him to have apologized. He had already been found guilty. The trial was over. He knew that he was going to spend the rest of his life. It would have been a great way I think, to give those people just a little bit of closure, a little bit, because at the end of the day, even if he had done the right thing in sentencing, they already knew who he was. They already knew what he was all about. They knew that it was probably not real. But you know what? It might have been It might have been something, and that's not what it was. You know what I mean, he did apologize. He did take some responsibility during the sentencing, but it was so little that it was very little. It was way too late, and it just didn't seem real. And it was also towards the end of the sentencing where it should have been at the right at the beginning. I feel that, that at the beginning he was kind of like playing with everybody as he did the whole trial. So people have asked me so many times that I felt the need to go ahead and do like a two or three minute video and talk about that. You know, this is very emotional line because I don't know that, again, I think that that was some of the theatrics, you know, kind of like what we talked about in other videos about how he was maybe able to make himself cry, how maybe he practiced crying in his cell, how he had so much free time on his hands to do stuff like that. So again, this, the, the belabored, that's the word I was looking for earlier, the belabored breathing, the tightness of the chest, the 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 difficulty that it took him to get a word out, uh, the looking at the ceiling. I felt like, I don't, I don't think it was real. I don't think it was real. I think it was theatrics. I invite you to say what you think. Again, mind you, he's going to get sentenced. He knows he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. He knows he's been found guilty of all charges. So it is, you know, a serious point, but... I just don't believe that he's just that, you know, it's, it's just so difficult for him to speak. I, that part, I just, I just don't buy it. I, I just don't buy it. But I invite you to tell me what you think down in the comments. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.